Hello everyone. So welcome to another episode that I try out the mechanics in Star Wars Last Jedi game. So today I want to implement this uh, force push system. So here uh, what we do is uh, using the force we can push objects in the game world. So I'm going to try that feature. I'm going to see how to implement that in Unreal Engine today. So this would be an interesting mechanic if you are doing some game to implement stuff like puzzles. So yeah. And this is what I could achieve so far. We can use the force to push and move objects in the game world like this and this one as well okay and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so here is the usual third person template and and uh, I have this magic attack animation so let's go ahead and first create an animation montage uh, magic attack montage and to support montages let's open the animation blueprint and animation graph so here slot default slot now we can play animation montages without any issue right now let's go to the where's the blueprint all right here let's open the third person character blueprint and then oh we need a key input action to any uh, to to activate the attack so let's go to project settings and create a action let's call it use force and I'm going to use the key F right now here use force oh wait a minute we need to have two types of force push and pull, uh, pull. so force push F and for pulling let's use E force pull okay now let's work with the force uh, let's compile this oh, we don't have this uh, force push okay now here I'll play let's get the mesh play any montage and here I'll use magic attack and here I'll add a montage notifier at this point because I want to apply the force at this exact point Want 
touch notify okay so right now let's go ahead and test if everything works oh we have a rotation there let's go here okay i added a key to make it rotate to the correct way now it's like this all right so now how to actually use force so this is just the animation part so let's see how to actually implement the force how to push this object for real so okay and in in the game we can't use force on all the objects so only particular objects respond to force so to represent that let's convert this object what is this object cube mesh right uh, into a object that can be pushed by force right let's create a folder pp for blueprint and let's create a blueprint class as an actor pp force force responsive object okay and also i'll create a blueprint interface ppi force okay now let's go here under class settings let's apply bpi force like this and i'll add a static mesh actor let's use a chamfer all right and block all dynamics okay so this is the material it's in here so let's uh, duplicate this material m force active right and here uh, let's give some blue color uh, to represent that it uh, reacts to the force so let's set some noise and look this with another color like this and we need some uh, randomization here so can I give time okay let's clamp this in between that's too much right so what I need is around the edges this should be a little blue and here it should be normal color so we can get normal pixel normal and then we can get camera Let me 
is something to get the normal of the camera which one is it camera okay this one maybe uh, camera vector and then let's get the dot product so by getting the dot product let's see oh, now here around there it's uh, this color all right so that means no this is the original color I have to get one minus all right this is the way and let's use m force active material here okay now this surface is right that's the way I want it now let's place this in the world instead of this one always oh, ah, it's a big color okay It's one. Uh, we can make this larger if we want. Right now to add force, uh, let's go to that interface we define and apply force so he has the input we need the position where the force is started so or we can just give the actor reference force in actor So I can give a reference to my character and then um, now let's give a vector force origin yeah force origin and another parameter force power Oh, let's just call it power it should be a float right okay now then here let's implement that function apply force so for now I'll just add a print just to print uh, no, let's just say force applied. Okay. Now, from third person character, uh, we need a way to identify what are the objects in front of the character which the force can be applied. So, and we defined we added a play montage notification so it will be invoked here so now here let's do a so trace 
for objects and starting point would be get actor location and ending point would be get get actor forward and let's multiply this by how far the flow force should be applied so let's just say 2000 units then this is the ending point and right let's enable debug type and see if the tracing works oh. object types all oh, right let's make an array so these objects should be what is the object type of this one world dynamic all right so it should use world dynamic okay it detected but not correct because we have to give the radius how much let's use exactly as the characters radius 96 half height and 42 right now it can detect the object so now here let's use a branch if we do have a hit then let's break this and get the hit actor call apply force using that interface we just created force origin is get actor location so the allocation of the third person character and power i'm not sure let's try thousand okay now let's see if the interface works it does because that's why we see force applied in the top left corner all right i feel the animation is too slow let's increase the play rate right right better okay now let's implement actually how to apply the force mm -hmm. let's get this static mesh and set simulate physics to simulate and then add imp Pulse. So impulse should be find look at so should be away from the um, Uh, impulse should be away from the character who's applying the force so get actor location of the current current actor and subtract 
the location of the force origin and then unit uh, we have to normalize this otherwise we will get a higher value because we only need the direction from this one and then multiply this from the power and apply it as the impulse let's see if we get any effect it didn't it didn't even move oh let's try like this so if the physics sim is simulating then it should fall down okay so that only means our force is not enough the force we are applying so let's try something like this that's also not enough what if I enable this one oh I guess it worked but too much all right that's good okay now that's working wait why does it thrown in a different direction ah right right the problem is yeah instead of the actor location i should get world location of this subject right let's see now right now it works properly okay now let's disable uh, this this one because we don't need it anymore okay so so this is a uh, square uh, cube shape uh, let's create another one with the spear Oh, we don't have SP objects. Uh, but we should have. Ah, it's in the engine content. Uh, yeah, we can get it like this. Drag and drop. Sphere. Alright. Let's copy it here. Now we have a sphere. Let's uh, drag and drop like this. Okay. Now let's drag and drop this sphere shaped object as well. Uh, that's not big enough oh, we don't need this anymore right okay so all right that's all I want to do for today
and as always project files will be available through the patreon page you can download it there if you like and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the club so you will have access to all this uh, third person shooter series and project files of the other things and also other series and other exclusive videos i do there and thank you for watching see you in the next episode goodbye